Well, hello, you guys. It's Ms. Alexander, and today we're working with Module 3, Lesson 31. And this is literally finding whole number quotient remainders with up to four digit dividends and one digit divisors within word problems. We get to use words today, you guys. This is so exciting. We're going to blend language arts and math. We need to read the word problem to figure out our our math problem to figure out the quotient. Let's quick review our vocabulary words, you guys. We have divisor, dividend, quotient, and remainder. Please remember that the divisor is how many within a group. This is how many we want in every group, you guys. Now we have the dividend. This is what we're pulling everything from. This is our total amount. Then we have our quotient. The quotient's right up here, and it's important to have because this tells us how many groups we have. And then we have the remainder. And the remainder, I feel, is kind of lonely because it does not fit in a group. And that's okay. But we need them so that we can have the problem correct. We need our remainder, so they're still very important. Let's go down to the example problems. So here we go. I get to read. I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Kelly's, Kelly separated 618 cookies into baggies. Each baggie contained three cookies. How many baggies of cookies did Kelly make? So the first thing I need to know is how many baggies of cookies did Kelly make? So I'm coming over here. It says each baggie contained three cookies. So I'm going to quick highlight this three. I'm thinking this is our divisor. And then right here, how many did we have in all? Yeah, 618. So let's go look. I'm going to put the three here and then the six, eight, ten. Okay, I think I'm starting off good. We just need to know how many baggies. Okay, so I'm going to jump into my facts. It looks like I need to know my threes. And again, we, well, I am, you may if you'd like. I'm going to quick type it out. Remember, if you do not know your facts, please don't sit there pretending you do and just copying. Quick, write it out. It is okay if you don't know them. Just be honest with yourself so that you may start learning. I got to make my box a little bigger. Hold on, you guys. Hold the little square and pull it over. Get back in. So be honest with yourself. You know yourself. And if you do not know this, you guys, don't sit there pretending because it's only hurting yourself. It's not hurting anyone else. And I don't want you to hurt yourself because I feel it's very important to know these all by heart. Now, if you have time, I'd sit there and do multiplication facts when I'm at home while I'm watching TV just so that I can learn them. Okay, so I have my multiplication facts. Here we go. Three goes into six how many times? So I'm going to go look over here. I see a six and there's a two next to it. So right here, I'm going to put a two. Two times three is six. Six minus six is zero. I'm going to bring down my one. Three goes into one how many times? I look over here and I see in the product side, my answer, my multiplication, my first number is three. And I know one's below three. So that means I need to use a number before one. Right. It is zero, you guys. Zero times three is zero. One minus zero is one. I'm going to bring down the eight now, you guys. It's important we put the zero there because it makes a big difference. Three goes into 18 how many times? I'm going to come down my 18 and see that, oh, look, it goes in six times. So right up here, I'm going to put my six. Six times three is 18. And 18 minus 18 is zero. So it looks like Kelly has to make 206 baggies with three cookies each. So I'm going to quick jump into our check for understanding. Okay, and I 
they, I do believe I said 206 baggies. And we're going to multiply this by three and see if this is what my dividend is. Dividend is. So I'm going to do three times six. It's 18. So I drop my eight, carry my one. Three times zero is zero. Plus one is one. And then three times two is six. Is 618 how many cookies we started off with, you guys? Yes, it is. Look, we did an amazing job. Thank you so much. So let's go to the next one, our next uh, word problem. It says 500 milliliters of juice was shared equally by four children. How many millimeters of juice did each child get? Oh, so I'm going to look. It looks like this is important. This looks like it's my divisor. And then this over here, right here, this looks like it's my dividend because this is telling me how much we have all together. So right here, I'm going to write my four. And then right here, I'm going to write 500. Okay, that works. It looks like I need to know my facts. Remember, if you don't know them, we're writing out the entire multiplication problem. Oops, I went with the wrong one, you guys. I need the box. Because I know with my multiplication facts, it's nicer to have it nice and big so that I can read it without having to read my chicken scratch. Oh, chicken scratch, you guys, is just my handwriting. Sometimes it's not very readable, especially when it comes to the computer. I think I'm writing one word, and it turns out I'm not writing that word at all. Notice how I'm still doing my multiplication facts as I'm writing, talking to you guys. I'm trying to keep you entertained. I'm hoping it's working. But sometimes I realize I just babble to babble. So I apologize if you feel like I'm babbling. I just want to quick get through our multiplication facts so that you can see our multiplication facts of four. Because I know you guys are amazing and you've got this. So if you got this, you're writing 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36. If not, you're writing everything. So ladies and gentlemen, I know I say, if you don't know your facts, write out the multiplication problem. And I'm sitting here writing my multiplication problem. You're going, hey, you're the teacher and you don't know them. Ladies and gentlemen, I do know them. I'm just showing you what you should do if you don't. And I'd rather be with you guys and write them out because it looks a little better sometimes. But if you know them, you just write this side of it. So let's hit save and close. And now we're going to go into this problem. Four goes into five how many times? I see four and eight, and I know five's in between. So I'm going to take the four. One, so right up here, one times four is four. Five minus four is one. I'm going to bring down a zero. Four into 10. So I'm looking, I see eight and 12, and I know that eight, it tends in between 8 and 12, so I don't want the 12. I'm going to go with the 8, which is 2. So right up here, I'm going to do 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Now you can do 10 minus 8, or if you want to regroup, you take the 1 from the tens column and turn it into 10 ones and bring it over here. And then you have 10 minus 8, which is 2. Now I bring down my zero, and I look for four into 20. So I'm looking, and here's 20, and look, it's five. So right up here, I'm going to write a five. Five times four is 20. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract. 20 minus 20 is zero. Great job, you guys. Now we're going to go see if we're really correct. We're going to check our answer. So we're going to take the 125 and multiply it by four. So here we go. I'm going to grab my scribble because this is where I get to write and I, I get excited about it. So I get 125 and I'm going to multiply it by four. So here we go. Four times five is 20. So I'm going to drop my zero, carry my two. Four times two is eight plus two is 10. So drop my zero, carry my one. Four times one is four plus one is five. Was 500 the number I started off with you guys? Let's go look. Yes, 
You guys did an amazing job. Thank you so much for all your help. I think I'm starting to get it. I like the positivity. So you guys remember as you're doing this, take your time. Make sure you're writing these out if you don't know them. Because if necessary, you can always start off with four, then add four more to get eight, to add four more to get 12, and get all the first nine numbers so that you have all the possibilities right for here. As you're doing this, to smile, giggle, and wiggle, and I will talk to you later. Bye.